Teacher Jim once again. And this time, we will discuss the What I Can Do part, the assessment, and the additional activities part of your Module 9. Your Module 9 would be the last module for this quarter for Mathematics 6. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Now again class, this would be the part 3 of our video lesson in your module 9, Mathematics 6. And this will focus on the what I can do part, the assessment, and additional activities part of your module. Okay, let's proceed now to the what I can do part of your module 9. Let's have number 1, a wooden cabinet needs repainting. How much surface area needs to be painted if the box has a length of 8 meters? Width of 5 meters and height of 6 meters. So obviously, our box here, our wooden cabinet here is in shape of rectangular prism. Now, can you still remember what's the formula in finding the surface area of a rectangular prism? Yes, very good. We will use surface area is equal to 2 times length times width plus length times height plus width times Alright, now, hindi na natin class is a substitute, no? Isa-isa yung mga given dimensions sa formula kasi hahaba pa yung solution natin. I told you last time na pwede natin idiretso i-multiply yung dalawang dimensions at ilagay natin sa formula. Okay? Now, let's try this one. So, surface area, copy natin yung 2. Instead of substituting L times width here, yung 8 natin times 5, idiretso na natin solve. So, 8 times 5 here will give you 40. So, yung 40 class ang ilalagay na natin. This will represent length times width dito. Next, add yung length times height. Yung length natin is 8. Yung height natin is 6. So, 8 times 6 will give you, good, 48 square meters. Next, addition. Width natin dito is 5 meters at yung height natin is 6. Diretso na i-multiply. 5 times 6 will give you 30 square meters. Now, pwede na natin i-add yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 40 plus 48 plus 30, the sum is 118 square meters. Now, 118 square meters times 2, the answer is... 236 square meters. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 1. Got it? Number 2. What is the surface area of the sphere whose radius is 4 decimeters? It's very easy. Okay? So, yung, ito yung sphere natin class. Yung uh, radius natin is 4 decimeter. So, kung alam mo yung formula in finding the surface area of the sphere, is very easy no, to solve problem number 2. So, we have SA is equal to 4 pi r squared. I-substitute natin yung ating given data. Yung 4 natin. At saka, uh, we'll replace the pi na symbol na 3.14. And then, yung r natin na radius will have 4 decimeter. Yung 4 natin times 3.14 will give you 12.56. And then, yung 4 times 4 natin dito will become 16. Kasi 4 times 4 is 16. Now, 16 decimeters squared times 12.56. How much? Yes, the final answer is 200.96 square decimeter. That's your final answer for number 2. So this time class, you answered the assessment part. Ikaw na muna yung sasagot sa assessment part natin para at least you have given the chance to solve it in your own. Okay? So, may separate video lesson ako para sa mga sagot sa assessment and of course, the additional activity. So, for the meantime, ikaw na muna ang sasagot. So, ngayon, kumuha ka na muna ng 
kahit na anong pirasong papel at sagutan mo yung assessment at additional activities part of your module. Okay? Ito yung part 4 video lesson natin class sa kung saan dito ko i-discuss yung answers ng assessment and additional activities para sa inyong module 9. But for the meantime, ikaw na muna yung sasagot. Okay? Para malaman natin kung talagang may natutunan ka sa ating lesson. Do you have your piece of paper with you now? Okay. Your time starts now. Okay, this time, you answer also the additional activities part of your module. Still, same piece of paper. May separate video lesson ako para sa mga sagot for this part of the module. But this time, you answer first, okay? Your time starts now. Watch out the part 4 video lesson of your module 9. I will show you, I will discuss to you the answer key on the assessment and the additional activities part of your module 9. Aside from the video lessons in mathematics class, I have also video lessons in science 6. Sa aking mga kapwa guro, meron din akong mga video tutorials about our teaching related tasks just like the RPMS and our LIS. Meron din akong mga video tutorials about how to improve our PowerPoint presentations. And of course, in the use of different EdTech tools. For you to keep updated on my video lessons, please subscribe to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond, or you may type in YouTube, Teacher Jem Raymond Chin. Or simply, you may follow these steps in liking and in subscribing my channel. Click the bell, then click all. Then you'll receive notifications in all my video lessons. For those who have subscribed already, thank you so much. See you next time. Keep safe everyone.